So the company has a novel aero architecture. We call it Tilt Aircraft eVTOL. So electric vertical takeoff and landing. But we don't have rotating wings. We don't have rotating motors or motors pushing motors. So it's inherently very simple, uh, lower cost, higher reliability. It's very easy to learn how to fly and it's a joy to fly. So FAA has a regulatory carve out, if you will. It's a, it's, a, it's a section of the FAR called Part 103. And Part 103 defines that which is an ultralight aircraft. An ultralight aircraft come with a lot of restrictions. You can only operate them in G airspace. You can only operate them over non-congested or non-settled areas. So we're not talking about anything that's be flying over a city or near a busy airport. So the Blackfly is the third generation of a now pre-production vehicle, which will always be our, our developmental heritage. Uh, about two dozen vehicles built and flown over the years, again, in development for over a decade, with thousands and thousands of flight test sessions. Well, today we announced you know, what the production vehicle, the successor to Blackfly looks like. It's called the Helix. It's painted with a beautiful livery and it, uh, it's substantially different from the Blackfly. We kept what we call the outer mold line or the fundamental aerodynamics the same. Uh, the structure is entirely new, made from different composite materials. Uh, we took substantial weight out of the structure and we did that to make room for the kind of accessories and functionality that someone buying an asset like this would, would come to expect beacon lights, aviation radios, obviously the, the, the custom livery on the outside. As it turns out, naked black carbon is, uh, gets a little hot in the summer sun, and it uh, also doesn't necessarily weather for years and years and years. So there's that. We've added substantial margin to the propulsion system, so owners will be able to fly at higher density altitudes, and will likely be raising the uh, payload limit, which today sits at only 200 pounds. There's about 35,000 ultralights already in North America, so we think there's room for thousands more per year. A lot of them are just gonna do it for recreation. You know, people buy ATVs and snowmobiles for recreation. Polaris is a $4 billion company. So recreation and fun is a pretty necessary aspect of life, I'd say. But more importantly, we'll be building out an install base of cloud-connected eVTOLs where we're able to understand the performance of the aircraft, operator behavior, uh, energy management, part wear, battery wear, and so many things. We think that's gonna position us really well for that next stage, which would be a larger aircraft likely to be certified under the FAA's forthcoming mosaic construct when that actually becomes law.